when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally OnePlus have started rolling out new update for OnePlus 9 series which includes OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro and this update brings few fixes along with December security patch. So in this video, let's find out what all changes OnePlus have done. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I've already installed the newer build which is Oxygen OS 13 version F.18. If you go to about section here, you can see Oxygen OS version is 13. And the build number is f.18 i'll show you the change logs also if you go to android version here you can see 5th december 2022 is the security patch on this build it was a very minor update you can see the change logs which are layered to system and communication there are no new additions done if you guys haven't received the update it might take few days i'll try to provide the download links in the description below you guys can anytime update your device manually and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now first let's take a look at the benchmark results and cpu throttling so the benchmark testing was done in high performance mode if you go to history here you can see single core has scored 1121 and multi-core have scored 3243. There were no throttling issues to be seen. You can see maximum CPU throttled up to 89%. And during my usage, I did notice few issues here and there. Those are temporary bugs, but I'll talk about them in the later part of the video. One thing which OnePlus still haven't fixed and that's related to this transparency of app drawer. If you choose themed icon, you can clearly see the icons and their background. But if you turn off the themed icon feature, and I don't use this themed icon feature because not every application is supported under this. So let me show you if I turn it off, tapping on apply. And now if you go to app drawer here, you can see some applications from Google do have the white background and those applications looks quite weird. For example, you can see drive application, Google one application, Chrome, etc. So if you're using the white background or the light theme, you can see the application icons looks quite weird but that's not the case on oneplus 10 pro you can see we do have a transparent background and because of which the app icons get highlighted and looks pretty neat i don't know why oneplus removed it but i hope in future we get back the transparency in the app drawer as always we did not see any kind of improvements in gaming mainly for the game like battlegrounds mobile india but few users have already reported that without using GameSpace application, the game performs pretty well. I played few full matches, but I was using GameSpace application to monitor FPS. If you are into gaming, do let me know in the comment section below whether gaming experience improves while not using the GameSpace application. I use it to avoid mistouch because I do play with gyroscope on. Where Damn it. Camera application got a minor update. The current version is 3.446.52. I did click few pictures, did not notice much of improvements. As I told you guys in the previous video of ColorOS, which was a similar update, the HDR processing is way high compared to previous builds. And it's personal preference. Some users might like this. I personally prefer natural color tones or natural colors while clicking pictures. If we talk about the change logs, they have improved the overall stability, added December security patch. About the stability part, we'll get to know once we start using the device as a primary phone. Later, they also fixed some issues where to the notification pull down after unlocking the device. I never faced such issues. If you guys have faced, then do let me know in the comment section below. Later, when it comes to notification, they have fixed the display issues with the icons in quick setting tiles. Towards the left hand side, you can see a screenshot. I don't see any kind of difference compared to previous build. One improvement which I noticed after the update and that's layered to the charging time. So I did test out charging speed on OnePlus 9 after updating the device. Here you can see I kept the device for charging at 10.18 and exactly at 11.24 the device was completely charged. On ColorOS also we did charging test when the device was taking around one and a half hour. But here approximate one hour or 60 minutes device was fully charged from 5% to 100% and the battery backup is also pretty good on this build you can see i did a lot of gaming here wherein i got three hours of screen on time and if i use my device normally i would for sure get around five hours of screen on time 
Here I played Battlegrounds Mobile India approximately for two to two and a half hours, and later I also did throttling test. So when it comes to battery backup and charging speed, both seems to be good on this particular build. With the last change, you know, they did improve the network stability, and yes, guys, there is a noticeable change. Now I constantly get 5G with pretty good network strength. I'll also show you the results using Airtel SIM card, where you can see I got 580 is download speed, upload speed was 92.5. Now talking about the glitches which I faced, so after this update I did face two issues and one of them was layered to the stutters while using the device. My device was a bit heated up and that time I did notice little bit of jitters or you can say lags while scrolling around the device. You can see the video which is being played on the screen. And the last issue which I faced that was also layered to touch wherein I did notice some mistouch happening on the device and device was not registering the touch properly. So these two minor issues which I noticed during my usage and both of them are temporary bugs which got fixed after just a screen lock I did not even had to restart the device. So guys there's nothing much to cover in this video because not much of change logs. Update size was around 164 MB only. But if you still have any kind of questions you guys can join our telegram group or you can leave a comment in the comment section. As of now only this much in this video I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day